Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Greta and we're here to talk about perfumes. If you watched my last video, you saw I did a huge haul from the Raja Dub Oak Perfumery because he had a sale. Well, the sale is going back on again. Little Birdie told me it was gonna be in a couple weeks, so I was not expecting it now through the end of the weekend. So, I know that there's a lot of perfumes that they have there. It's not just Raja Dove. They also have the Pierre de Valet collection from Raja Dove is only sold there. Plus they have other brands like Perfume Aroma and a whole bunch of others. I will say, uh, I checked, I'm really good at price comparing and keeping spreadsheets for all the different sellers. I will say with this sale, this is the best pricing that I found for Raja Dove's fragrances if you use ShopPay to check out. I didn't get charged any shipping or fees or anything like that. So I wanted to get some more reviews up for you because a lot of them are pretty blind for people and there's not even a lot of Fragrantica reviews up. So I'm gonna try to focus on some of them that I really like and that I don't see reviews for. And I think that's pretty much the Pierre de Belay. So I'm gonna do a couple more of those I was gonna do some of the semi-bespoke that Raja Dove has. However, I have to tell you, I haven't had as much luck finding one that I like there. I really wanted to get the set of three for the price of two, plus the sale price to boot. But I'm honestly having a hard time finding one through all the samples I got that I like. I do like the number, let's see here. Not the number 21, not the number one. The number 24 is kind of a fruity floral. I like that. A bunch of the others I tried were kind of a little geriatric like on me. So they're not meant to be mass appealing. They are meant to be semi bespoke, meaning very original, meant for an individual. 100% you need to sample the semi bespoke line by Raja Dub. Do not blind buy those. Trust me, don't go buy the notes. Do not blind buy them. They're too risky. I just want to put that out there. They're they're not meant to be mass appealing. I can't emphasize that enough because I am extremely grateful that I did do the samples because some of them that I thought I would like by the notes, I, I was really not liking like at all. Wasn't what I expected. So just sample them and then I'm sure they're going to do this sale again. I'm sure of it. So just, but with these orders, you can get those samples, which is a really good thing. In any case, Let's focus on some of the Pierre de Belay's. So I already did the review on the Essence Rare. That collection, to my knowledge, all comes in similar packaging. It was a simple card, glossy cardboard box with this lacquered case, beautiful hinged gold here. This is a really nice display case. And what's unique is the coloring. They're all in a different color. This one is black and gold and has the gold plate. They will just be identified with a red plating, metallic plate or a blue metal plate. And what I want to do next that I really liked was the Amour. Really liked it. Now, I can't find a more even listed on Fragrantica. I can only go off this site, the Raja Dub Oak Perfumery site. So I don't know when it was launched. I'm going to just say maybe 2019 or 2020. And it is a Shepra, a warm, rich, and soft one. Really, this is a really easy one to like in an easy blind buy because it has very, very mass appealing notes of heliotrope and vanilla rose. It's, this is a really good one. It's a very creamy heliotrope vanilla floral kind of scent. Uh, it has top notes of bergamot and kefir lime, but it's a very quick burst of that citrus and you immediately get the rest of these notes. Jasmine, rose, ylang ylang, heliotrope, orange blossom, and violet in the middle. And then the base notes are ginger, saffron, cedarwood, sandalwood, patchouli, cypriole, papyrus, mosses, cystus, Labdanum. This does not give an animalic feel. Let me just put that out there because those two notes you start to think like, well, maybe there's animalic. It's not animalic other than that it's addictive. 
vanilla, benzoin, big notes in here. Tolo balsam, frankincense, and musk, another big note in here. It is that musky heliotrope, vanilla, rose kind of note. It's addictive in that you keep wanting to smell it. There is a little bit of a throw, but this is a Raja Dove, so he's not the kind of fragrance where you're going to walk in a room and the entire room, unless it's a small room, is going to smell you. Really like this one. Um, really good longevity I'm finding from these. I will get them all day long. I do spray from trying them. I'm pretty much just like two sprays on the arm, two sprays on the arm is what I do because I want to try it. I really like this one. This one is on my list. I kind of want to get this one because it's so easy to like. If you like vanilla creamy fragrances, um, that takes the center stage. The lab that I'm really just gives it a little texture. It's not a prominent note in here. I don't get like a leathery, like a leather note. This is definitely unisex because all those notes are very unisex. This is not like floral prominent. It's really good. It's an easy blind buy, this one. I'll put that one out there. Very easy blind buy. Um, what else? The story on this. He gives such an enticing description on this one. I'll try to do it, read this to you really quick. Pierre de Valais Amour is complex and impulsive, like the surprise of an unexpected romance. Goddess Aphrodite, known for her beauty, bore a son, Eros, or Cupid, god of passion, desire, and love. Amour envelops the wearer in an intense love affair initiated by playful Eros. A fresh and bright opening of bergamot and kaffir lime strikes like Cupid's arrow to the heart before the carnal accents of rose and lavish syrupy heliotrope take hold and work their magic of seduction. The rich earthy notes of papyrus, the origin of ancient love letters, surges a message of temptation and promise of love to the brain. Labdanum, benzoin, and tolo balsam reveal a world of raw sensuality held captive by a warm woody embrace. Vanilla, the incomparable aphrodisiac, unlocks your inner compulsions, enhancing sensations of pleasure mentally, physically, and spiritually. Amour is a fragrance that hits you with the force of unexpected temptation and slowly entices you with the power of persuasion until you and all nearby fall dangerously in love with it. So yeah, it's got these great sensual notes, very mass appealing. These are the kind of notes that everyone likes and it's done in a way that's very unisex. It is not overly feminine. It is not overly masculine. Doesn't I wouldn't even say it leans either way. This is just a great likable fragrance that I'm, I'm, I'm easy. I'm, I'm, mm. Get your words, Greta. <laughs> I'm okay saying this is a good blind buy. So, that is the Pierre de Valais Amour. So let me do another one that I got some requests for, which is, I believe the 16. So if we go to 16 and I'll put pictures of these up. This one has the white label. Oops, what happened? And it is Jasmine, Rose and Peach. Let me just pull that one up here. I love these sample cases. There's actually a magnet inside here. So it's a beautiful like snap closure, really sturdy. And again, with that glossy, glossy with the metallic lettering and a glossy uh, cardboard, very sturdy. And then holds the five in here in the holes. I have to say, this is definitely luxury samples that you got here. And they stack nicely. I hate when some give you these giant boxes for the sample and then like storing them is a real pain in the butt. So number 16, I remember liking this one too. I wore this briefly. I will say Raja Doves, you can't really spray on paper with these. They're really meant to be on skin and thank goodness I'm wearing a dress because I'm gonna have to use my leg because I'm getting 
I'm running out of territory here. I'm just gonna have to trust me. Very fresh floral opening. So this one opens with bergamot lemon grapefruit. Yeah, I definitely get that beautiful, fresh citrus opening. With heart notes, lily of the valley, I get that right away as well with those citrus, giving it a fresh floral smell. Rose, jasmine, elang elang, violet, peach, and rhubarb. With a base note of galbanum, cedarwood, dry woods, orris, which I love, which is violet, giving that fuzzy, um, powdery, very powdery note. So you have violet in the mid notes and orris in the base. So this is going to be a powdery fragrance. Orris and vanilla. And this one, he calls it fresh, fruity, and soft, which makes sense because I'm getting that fresh and the fruity and then the powdery comes in. And we're still getting that rhubarb, fresh, fruity, floral. Okay. This is a sweet treat of a perfume. This vibrant and contemporary floral cord is nothing if not mouth-watering. Known for her love of confectionery and everything sweet, Marie Antoinette would easily fall under the spell of number 16. Bright and fresh citrus notes create a burst of juicy sweetness that is zesty and uplifting like a brilliant burst of sunshine, scattering dazzling rainbows through the chandeliers in Marie Antoinette's palace. A floral heart based around creamy jasmine adds a touch of indulgence. Frangipani mingles with this jasmine. Frangipani is similar to Ling Ling in TR. They're all in that plumeria family. Mingles with jasmine, creating a delectable combination which carries upon it a succulent pear, pear drop noyance, typical of the finest quality jasmine. A unique rose accord that is light and delicious, adds in an airy quality, whilst a touch of powder transforms the whole into something too tempting to resist, as if a fluffy cloud of sugar were picked from the sky above. He's such a way with words. An energetic and dynamic scent, number 16 presents sweetness in the softest and most succulent way possible. Close your eyes and allow yourself to be carried away in a cloud of decadence. Sweet 16 celebrates the perfumer's ability to create a sweet scent, which totally avoids the juvenile word of world of high street spritzes and delivers the epitome of old perfumery. I will say if you want a more elevated, even more elevated version of Delina, because you're getting that rhubarb in here, the brightness in here, it is not as tart as Delina. Delina is too much rhubarb in, on me and it's sour. For me in the first 20 minutes like sour not a good sour and then it's it's beautiful this i don't get that sour it's it's citrus burst bright versus sour if that makes any sense i don't know it has sweetness to it i will say this one is definitely more feminine leaning um i don't remember getting as good a longevity on this one I do remember wearing it for a day and wasn't getting that same projection and sillage as some of the others in his collection. But again, that's kind of to be expected with some of the notes that are in here. But this is definitely, if you're more of a girly girl, but this is not sweet, this is not toothache sweet, this is not like that at all because of that brightness. And I'm gonna, the best comparison I can use, not remotely a dupe, but in that wheelhouse of Delina, if Delina is something that you like, but you want a more refined fragrance with that kind of approach, if that makes sense. Like that brighter floral uh and there's peach in here. There's peach in here, whereas Delina has more of a stronger rose. This is like a jasmine rose, peach with the rhubarb in there too, but the rhubarb is not as prominent. It just gives this brightness. And I get a lot of that lily of the valley. I do get that in here, which is a particular smell. It's really quite nice. And a lot of the jasmine is coming through too as it's drying down. It's really nice, girly. If you like girly, this is definitely a really good one. Uh, another one. One that is one of my favorites and another 
easy purchase is. I want to do the Harrods. I had this one in a travel size, so it was really easy for me to pick this one up. It does come in the beautiful case, but I went through all that in the haul. This one has the green Swarovski crystals. Um, this is exclusive to Harrods, but because the Rajadev Opa from Marie's the sixth floor, the shop on the sixth floor in Harrods, it is the Harrods, it's among them as the Harrods exclusive. Uh, this one, if you like his poor thumbs, if you like like 51, if you like that collection of like Reckless and Scandal, Danger, 51, if you like those fragrances, you're going to like this one. It has that um, cosmetic counter vibe. This is tuberose, magnolia, and cherry are the prominent notes here. Let me go. This one is really likable as well and another really easy blind buy. If you like like cosmetic counter kind of powdery fragrances, uh, very elegant, womanly. This I would not call unisex. I would call this feminine. It is the poor femme as well, but as much as he's a very unisex perfumer, and look at this. He has the best... Okay, Kino. I don't want to spray you in the face, buddy. He has, like, the best atomizer. It's just a spritz everywhere. I am going to be so loaded up with perfume. You really get that... <sighs> burst of violet powderiness right off the bat. It is inimitable luxury. Yes, I would call this extremely luxurious. Uh, it's an amber, it's rich and soft, fresh, sweet, warm, and sensual. This one, the notes, opens with bergamot and anise. I don't get a lot of the anise. Anise is licorice, and I really don't get a whole lot of that. Uh, harp notes of palma rose, rose de mai, neroli, orange blossom, tuberose, magnolia, ylang ylang, violet, and cherry. The cherry's in there. This is not a cherry forward fragrance. Don't think you're going to get the syrupy cherry in this. This to me is really more of that magnolia and violet. Base of pink pepper, cypriol, cedarwood, cashmere wood, sandalwood, oud, Benzoin, vanilla, giving it that creaminess. Aoud giving it dimension. It is not a prominent, like, I'm wearing an oud. It's just in there, blended in, giving it depth. Frankincense, labdanum, leather, ambergris. Again, they're blended in there somewhere, but those are not prominent notes that I'm picking out. And musk. Yes, I get that muskiness with the violet and giving it that vanilla, benzoin kind of creaminess too not as thick of a blanket as say Nua. That one has a really thick cashmere blanket kind of vibe around you, like you're in a cocoon. This one is, um, yes, you're like around this smell of fragrance, but it's this lush, luxurious, and Magnolia is very difficult. Like I don't think Magnolia actually gives an oil. They have to kind of concoct it. It doesn't naturally give oil. It's like a, a pain in the neck to work with. But he does it, pulls it off. And I just think magnolia is such an opulent flower, so beautiful in perfumes. That so if you like those parfums, that vibe in those fragrances, you will like this one. If you like that cosmeticiness in it. And scandal has that powderiness, but I think it's more like scandal. Uh, yeah, scandal is more powdery, more talcum powdery. Like this is not that talcum powdery, older kind of feel to it. It's that violet, oh, did I say orris? I did not, the benzoin. There's the benzoin and the vanilla. Um, it's a really good one. And I don't get leather, so don't worry about that. Even though there's leather and labdanum in here, I'm not pulling them out. I'm not getting that. That would vibe more unisex masculine leaning if I did or animalic. And I don't get an animalic vibe from this. I get um, I get very refined woman dolled up. She's done up. She is high, high maintenance. This one screams high maintenance. That's what it is. If you, if you want to feel high maintenance and dolled up and you are, yeah, put together and you're not cheap.
this is the fragrance. Easy blind buy if that's you. I, I, that's a little me. I love this one. This is definitely one of my favorites. This one, 51 Nua, um, Amour, Rare Essence. Those are all some of my favorites. Britannia, finally tried another favorite of mine. Definitely up there. Uh, anyway, that is um, three more for you. <laughs> you. Throw these out there. I was not expecting to have to do this, so I just kind of pulled it together to tell you about a few more of them that I have my nose on. Um, if it's something you like, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I do have a whole lot more of these that I will tell you about. So I will see you in the next one, you guys. Mwah. I can't believe the boys behaved for me. I'm so happy. They like laid around me sleeping, which is pretty cool because last night they were doing the Indy 500 in my house.